Welcome to Excellence in Excel and in this video series I'm going to give you an extreme challenge and this challenge is very fun but it also requires a lot of formulas and a lot of things to start doing and what we're going to do is basically we're going to convert a price list into a large row of prices and this price list is built in such a way that it has multiple conditions and this is fun because this is a quite challenging task so let me show you exactly what we have here and I will explain to you for example here we have here price list for a specific tour package and what we want to do here you can see here this is the price yes these are old rates and what you can see here these are the rates here you can see for the specific amount of days four days and three nights or three days and two nights and what we have more is here this uh, for the amount this is the rate per person if a customer is going to uh, travel during these days here and the requirements here is of course it should be a minimum of two people in a room or else three people and if it's a single customer it will be this rate and this is for four days and three nights but maybe you say oh well that's interesting I want to go only three days and two nights in that case different rates applies and as you can see here we have multiple brackets and this is only for one specific package and you can see here there are three different packages here or three different prices and you can see here as well if there would be a extra night we have all of this so and this is only for one hotel and there are multiple hotels here however we're going to focus only on this hotel here and of course before I forget you can see there are some special nights which requires additional charges in this case these are not even available however these here are available but if a customer stays overnight during these specific days in that case there's an additional charge of $13 for a room and if they will stay on in a single room you can see a single single in that case it will be $26 and if it's a weekend in that case is $10 for a room and $20 for a single person in a room so you can see this is a very very complicated situation there are multiple dependencies here so what we need to do is we need to start working on this and let's begin well the first thing that we're going to do is to make it really easy we're going to uh, to extend all these rates here so let's start here this it starts from 16 January up till 30 of June so we're going to just put in here we'll say here 16 January so 1 16 2000 it was 2017 so I just maintain that and if I drag this down what happens aha uh -huh. so you can see right now this one here is not set properly so I'm going to change the date setting here since this is set on a different format of date so I'm going to select here the date uh, I can see here it starts with 14 and then the month so this is day month year so what I want to do is I want to do the American version and if I do the American version I do want to have or we don't need to do the American version but probably a more better one is to specify the month in letters alright confirm confirm and now if I say 116 there you are so we have to go down and we have to drag this you can see here it will keep on going up and right now it moves to yes so what we need to do here is 16 sorry I know that we are making a mistake here 16 of June January 16 January 2017 all right let's drag this down here we're going to June 30 as you can see I'm just going to fast forward this part here slightly fast where are we I just let this go all right we have more 16 16 we need 30 all right so we've got these now and I just want to extend this as well so this is our month that's beautiful now let's extend that so we've got the first part I'm going to insert here a new line and I will say here this is date once we have date let's look here what we have more to consider so we have the package type 
we can start using the package type and we can start matching with these right things however this will be very hard if we do step by step so I will ignore this for now because we can use a formula for this so what we can do here is we want to also highlight this so let's highlight that one as well we're going to use a specific uh, option here I'll call this um, we'll say here Friday if it's a Friday and this is a Saturday all right so for this what we need to do is we need to use a formula or a um, a weekday function we call that not the formula but the weekday function and with the weekday function it will analyze if this specific day is any type of day that we want to know so if we type in here enter well before I do that I just open the formula builder and let's look here to specify what are the number results because the return time we need to control that so you can see right now if Sunday then it's let number one and this is a standard return type if there's no it's like a default function and if or do we want to use for Monday number one then use two and for Monday number zero use three so in this case what we want is we want to use that Monday equals one and Sunday equals seven so Friday is equals five and Saturday equals six so put in here number two enter and you can see here number one so that means it's not a Friday double click on this and we can see here now we have all the Fridays say what we can do here now we do exactly the same formula it's going to copy this one and then it's probably taking this yes so what I need to do here I need to just let me just show you here because it uses the wrong formula I need to make this a2 highlighting this this is the date enter and then we have double and let's see here if this is all correct yes this is all correct of course everything matches and then that's what we have so this is the first part and in the next part we're going to start transforming this into the right amount of uh, uh, fees we're going to this this is ten dollars fixed so that's what we're going to do in the next video and we're going to start calculating the package rates